How's it going guys? Past level question for hematology step one, internal medicine to CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, MHL man underscore medical links down below. Find me telegram links to the telegram group and channel down below and I'll start the clip. 63 year old woman, five month history of fatigue, blood smear shown, laboratory studies show hemoglobin low, 11 grams per deciliter should be 13 to 17.5. Non-menstruating women and men, 12 to 17.5. Menstruating women, platelets normal, 200,000 should be 150 to 450,000. White blood cells, super fucking elevated, 55,000 should be four to 11,000. Then we have the breakdown of white blood cells here, which I'll talk about as we move through the question as well as the smear, which the following most likely be seen as patient. Let's just whip through the answers here. Choice A, CD10 positivity, wrong fucking answer, refers to acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL. It's going to be a kid, okay? Generally school aged or younger. And you're going to see a super fucking elevated white blood cell count where it's pretty much all lymphocytes, okay? So they'll just say like, you got an eight-year-old boy who has fatigue, uh, four month history or one month history of lymphadenopathy and then they'll say that the white blood cells 50,000 90 percent lymphocytes that's ALL okay so you get CD10 positivity um, TDT positivity and almost always B cell if it's a tall T cell leukemia you can get a thymic lesion with a positive Pembertin sign which just means congested neck veins sometimes uh, flushing of the face and uh, a caveat I should issue is that pertussis is an important uh, confused or misconstrued condition alongside ALL because pertussis, for whatever fucking reason, can cause a super fucking elevated lymphocyte count uh, with leukocytosis similar to ALL, okay? So if they give you like leukocyte count 40,000 and it's 90% lymphocytes, and you're like, okay, sounds like ALL. But then they tell you there's a cough. They tell you that there's post-tussive emesis, which means vomiting after the cough. They tell you there's hypoglycemia, classically seen pertussis. Answer is pertussis. ALL, wrong fucking answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, high, high luxa ALP, wrong fucking answer, because in this condition, as I'll talk about, it's going to be low, not high. So high luxa ALP, basically I'd say it's not a high yield detail. Students get hysterical about this notion of high risk, low luxa ALP. I'd say in terms of questions, I've seen it show up, maybe three out of four, you could be aware that uh, high would refer to leukemoid reaction, uh, and one out of four could be polycythemia vera, okay? So uh, a, a leukemoid reaction is where you have an infection that induces, or I should say invokes, uh, an exaggerated immune response where we have, quote, increased leukocyte release from the bone marrow post mitotic reserve pool. That's an answer on one of the forms. Uh, leukemoid reaction can also be written as reactive granulocytosis. That's another answer on one of the other forms. Okay, granulocytes uh, refers to neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, but for eosinophilic purposes, uh, granulocytes is synonymous with just neutrophils. So neutropenia or agranulocytosis mean the same thing, but reactive granulocytosis, high neutrophils. So in leukemoid reaction, you have a smear where it's all neutrophils. They'll just show you neutrophils, but there'll be an infection in that setting. You can get a high leukocyte ALP. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Chile C, oncogenic fusion protein, correct answer. Okay, so uh, this is chronic myelogenous leukemia, CML, and the fusion protein. I had this as a wrong answer choice in my previous clip here on the YouTube, but you need to know this refers to the BCR-ABL tyrosine kinase. Okay, it's an oncogenic fusion protein, Philadelphia chromosome, 922. Okay, so CML. This smear is showing us what I refer to as a motley mix or a soup. It's just an agglomeration of all sorts of different types of cells. Okay, it looks like a soup. It looks like a motley mix, just all different cells. And then they don't have to show you this image. It's very buzzy. This made it pass level. They show you the bloods here, also easy slash pass level. Look at all these myelo sounding cells. Okay, when I have a student like look at a CML question, they don't know what's going on. I say, look at the breakdown of cells there. Do you see anything unusual? Like, do you see any cells that you don't normally see, right? What do we normally see on a blood smear? You might see or on um, the breakdown of the laboratory studies. Like, what, what might we normally see? Neutrophils, okay. Lymphocytes, okay. Well, what do you not normally see? All these weird myelo-sounding cells. Metamyelocytes, promyelocytes, myelocytes. Extremely buzzy for CML. I would say 
nine out of 10 times, okay? I mean, there's always exceptions. I've seen one leukemoid reaction question where they had these listed, very fucking difficult, but they showed you the smear where it was all neutrophils. It wasn't this smear, okay? And they gave you an infection. It was obvious, but it's a 2CK level question, which can be harder, okay? There are gonna be students who get 270, 280, it happens, but you need to know that nine out of 10 times, okay? When you see these myelo sounding cells, it's gonna be CML. So you can treat with imatinib, which uh, targets the BCR, ABL, oncogenic tyrosine kinase, uh, and imatinib can cause uh, fluid retention, peripheral edema. Let's just whip through the other answer choices quickly. Choice D, smudge cells, wrong fucking answer. Uh, can be seen in CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Overrated detail, uh, actually very low yield. Okay, so uh, CLL will just be an adult with a super fucking elevated leukocyte count where it's all lymphocytes. So for example, they give you a 69 year old who has a leukocyte count of 80,000 where it's 89% lymphocytes, diagnosis CLL. They give you the same fucking question. They tell you it's an eight year old, answer is ALL, okay? So it's not hard, but you can see smudge cells in CLL and you need to know that a quantitative immunoglobulin assay is an answer for a diagnosis of CLL. It's on a 2CK form. Sounds very fucking weird. I've made questions on it here on the YouTube. Don't want to go on a long discussion, but leukemias, lymphomas are classically B cell in origin. They can be T cell, as I talked about with ALL earlier, but it's usually B cell, and B cells mature into plasma cells. They secrete immunoglobulin, so you can do immunoglobulin assays uh, in the setting of CLL. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, tartrate resistant acid phosphatase staining, wrong fucking answer, versus to hairy cell leukemia. Okay, so I mean, I don't really know what to tell you. It's like uh, they'll say cytoplasmic projections. I've, I think I've only seen like one question on hairy cell leukemia. Okay, it's one of those strange diagnoses students get maniacal over, you know, weird things, but it'll be an easy question if you get it. They'll literally show you a smear with hairy looking cells and they'll tell you there's like a trap tartrate resistant acid, acid phosphatase. It's an enzyme that apparently is in high levels within the cells of hairy cell leukemia, and you can use that type of staining to facilitate diagnosis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice F, warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia, wrong fucking answer, refers to CLL. Okay, so same with smudge cells, all right? So in CLL, sometimes patients can get uh, warm agglutinins, which just means IgG antibodies against RBCs. You don't have to fixate over warm versus cold. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. You can just be aware that when we talk about these factoids for different leukemias, right? Like AML, for example, you have the R rods or CLL, you could have smudge cells, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. It's like you could be aware peripherally that uh, hemolysis can occur due to an antibody mediated process in, in CLL rarely. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. If you make more content, if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.